Welcome to Activating DBase Plus 11. In our previous video, we discussed ways for you to download the installer for DBase Plus 11. One was to sign up for the trial on dbase.com. And once you do, you'll be sent an email that contains two links. One from Dropbox, which is by far the faster download method, but that's sometimes blocked by corporate firewalls. So we also provide one from dbase.com. Now, both of them will get you the exact same installer. The second way was for you to buy the product. And in there, you had two ways to get it. You would be sent a an email again with the links for the download to both Dropbox and dbase, or you could also always go to our updates and fixes page right on dbase.com. Now note this is where you'll go when you want to download a point release that we announced such as 11.1. Also if you still have the trial installed you don't need to download and reinstall dbase again in order to activate your purchase. Now there is one important email that you'll need to do when we go to activate and that's the one with all your activation information and your activation information contains a license ID and a password. And again, just want to make sure everybody understands that DBase sells named user licenses. That means this license belongs to an individual. That individual can install and activate on multiple computers that they will be the only person using it on. No one else can use the product. The second part is that you can't use the product simultaneously on multiple computers. So with that, let's go and show you how to activate the product. I have the DBase shortcut link here on my desktop, so I'll just double click on it to start it. That'll bring up the activation dialog. Now we already talked about evaluating DBase, and I still have 22 days left on my evaluation, so I could just hit the evaluate button and it'll start up DBase. I'll get out of here, double click on the shortcut link again. That'll bring up the activation menu. Now, if your computer is connected to the internet, you should always activate your DBase Plus license online. Only in a disconnected where your computer is not connected to the internet should you have to do a manual activation. So we'll click on the activate. Now we're at our activation input screen. So I'll put in my license ID and then my password. Hit continue. Then enter in all my registration information. Once complete, I'll hit the continue button and that shows it's trying to activate. It's connected to the license server and activated successfully. Congratulations. Hit continue and we go directly into DBase. Now I'll close this down, double click DBase again, and you can see it starts right up without asking you anything about the activation anymore. One important note here is if you do a help about, it'll show you that it's licensed because it gives you your license ID and who it's registered to. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed DBase Plus 11.